Uh, my name is Ellen Lapson. I'm the former president of the Stimson Center. Well, I think the agreement has been successful and both parties are still uh, committed to the implementation of the agreement. But both countries experience a lot of domestic politics that suggest that in the long run there is still an absence of trust between the United States and Iran. I, the new administration, the Trump administration, I believe will allow the agreement to continue but wants to add more coercive measures to deal with Iran's non-nuclear behavior, such as its regional behavior uh, in Syria and elsewhere, um, and its own uh, domestic problems with human rights, the treatment of dual nationals, etc. I think we've always worried about uh, human rights conditions inside Iran, but it has not been the highest priority of U.S. policy when we had no contact with Iran. Now that we are in, in you could argue, a different phase of U.S.-Iran relations because our officials talk to each other, I think we have to raise the priority of, of human rights. But there is very little expectation that American pressure will produce the desired results. We see the Iranian regime being even tougher towards dual national Iranian Americans. There are problems with the Baha'i, the Kurds, other minorities inside Iran. So the picture is not uh, very encouraging. I don't, I, I don't see that the Iranian regime has um, improved its thinking about human rights or its behavior about human rights. Well, since President Trump is trying to follow through on all of his campaign promises, I think we should expect the administration and their friends in the Congress uh, to definitely introduce new measures against Iran that would address Iran's behavior in the region, uh, its support for Hezbollah, other Shia militia, there's a whole range of uh, issues in the region, uh, situation in Bahrain, situation in Yemen, not to mention uh, Lebanon and Syria, of course, Syria and Iraq as the most important. But it's hard to imagine what kinds of sanctions would actually change Iran's behavior. So we do the sanctions uh, as a sign of protest on how we feel about Iran's behavior with no guarantee that Iran will um, be persuaded by this pre kind of pressure uh, to change its, uh, its behavior.